All right, we have Fab Five Ways hey. to Integrate Playfulness. Is this familiar to anyone? Number one, name your stuff. <laughs> Especially your expensive stuff, like your house right. or your car. Joey Guacamole. Uh, this is Joey Guacamole. I had the privilege of... You got to uh, ride. I'm so jealous. Joey was, I, you got to ride in Joey Guacamole, and um, I didn't. But I know. I feel like when you're a teenager, you name you your car. Name your that's car. you know, like, it's a beater. It's yes. Yeah, so yeah. You, you kind of add it, inject something fun right. to it. But I think that's something that uh, we had names for all of our cars. Do. In we high we name our computers. Yes, I mean, we, we had. Do. Remember, don't so, most people have to though? Because we name them so that we can identify them in the system. I think most people just say John's. Really? MacBook they don't give it a John's. real name? No, I don't think so. That's that's huh. why this is an easy one. Um, remember the old iMac that used to be with the, it was like the little dome shape and it had the, the neck. It was almost like the, yeah. I think it was like a flower with a flat screen yeah. and you could move it around. We call that one Ferris. That was one of yeah, my favorite ones. Ferris. Um, mm -hmm. to, uh, to name. So name name your stuff. We, we have a friend who names, they get a, um, a lot, a real Christmas tree every year. Oh, yeah. And they name it. Doesn't Jenna like, do that? Sue and Jenna do that too, I think. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not aware of that. But Leviathan, I think, was oh, one yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> How do you remember uh, that? Uh, Patty did, uh, right? Right. That's um, funny. Scooter. If you have a scooter, that just begs yeah. for a name. A bike. Right? I think bike. bikes should have a name. Um, and we were talking too about pets. So we don't have any pets. But if we did, I, how do you not like name your pet like Mr. Fabulous <laughs> or something really cool? Not just Mrs. Prickly Face or not something. Not just yeah. or yeah. Rufus or Spot. Or like, here's a common one, Lucy. How yeah. many people tell us? I know oh, more my people dog's name is with Lucy. a pet named Lucy than a <laughs> my person cat's name they know. Is Lucy. Lucy I, but, I know it's so cute. We know. But the, uh, I think there is an opportunity to give your, your animal like a middle name or a two name or a Mr. or Mrs. There's a lot of whimsy in that. I like uh, Christy says that her computers are named after the Simpsons. Ooh, that's cool. That is kind a, a cool theme. idea. Yeah, your dad um, would like that. I need to go in a new direction because we, we just keep getting these MacBooks. <laughs> Mac, our neighbor. Yeah. Guilty. You do have a dog named Lucy. <laughs> it's such a cute name. Don't get me wrong. That's. We also were attracted to that name, but we do get that a lot, as you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's one thing. Name your stuff. Okay, that's one idea. Uh, then here's another one. Live in your own musical. Mm -hmm. So we talk about this a lot. We have kitchen dance parties. Um, we encourage people to do car dancing. Yes. Uh, karaoke is a way to do that when you're, you know, even if you're not, uh, you're doing chores. Like right. have, have a special playlist that you play. Um, we've now gotten into a habit of playing some music before the show here mm -hmm. to get our energy up. I have a certain playlist I listen to before mm -hmm. I go on stage. Um, and especially what I love the idea of oldies oh, and the yeah. fact that oldies Retro. are relative, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They're like, however oh, old yeah. you are, you right. know, like uh, the stuff I grew up thinking was oldies is ancient now but now the stuff i'm like oh this is this is what i grew up with my kids are like those are oldies you know so but it's fun to introduce your your kids or your grandkids or your your nieces and nephews to your favorite music when you were a kid because you get so excited about it and of course the, you know depending on their age they're like whatever this is lame but there are some classics that they can't deny are awesome yeah right? so music is definitely a mm -hmm. great way to bring playfulness into the uh things uh, how about decorating your digs? Yeah, this one. I mean, honestly, if you walk in our front door, you're going to see this painting. Is Kim Stample McMillan on tonight? Yeah, you're going to see this painting, Kim. Um, and you're going to see a lot of whimsy around our house. So in our library, we have this neat little ledge that's over the windows. I think it had to do with the curtains from the prior, prior uh, owners. But we turned it into a shelf for Funko Pops. Um, of course, and uh, surprise, it, surprise. It, you know. <laughs> but the kids and Jason handpicked the right Funko Pops to put in there. So we've got the presidents, we've got musicians, because that's also a musical room. So we've got like Ed Sheeran and do, is Wayne Garth in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> are they oh, considered yeah. oh, musicians? Yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> um, but that playfulness. So yeah, the Harry Potter characters oh, are in yeah. there, and so kind Dr. of like Seuss. literary characters, yeah. musical characters, historical characters, library music room, you know. Um, but that kind of playfulness is our jam. Mm -hmm. But I think most people have a little bit of that to add somewhere. Yeah. Right. Well, a lot of the art, like this one here, this Burger King one, is 
at, at first glance, you might miss the little whimsy to it. Like a lot of my art, I just like to put a little, a little bit of whimsy. Like right now I'm working on a painting of an otter um, and he's got a, you know how they're like on their back and they do their shells and he has like Rubik's cube. We have to do a he's, studio yeah. sneak peek next week. Yeah, we should, that we should. By the way, Julie Veet says she has a friend with a dog named Pickles. That's a good one. Right? That is a good one. I was going to name my son that, but can't be <laughs> you know that. Uh, but yeah, so I am I'm reminiscent of uh, a banker, a banker friend who uh, in his office when he was where he's retired now, but he had a, a really beautiful pastoral landscape in his office. And it was only when you looked closer at it that you saw that there was a pond with a little dock. And at the end of the dock was Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't this like, you know, Mickey Mouse poster. It was just a real subtle kind of a thing that yeah. just, you know, brings a little little whimsy and playfulness into the... the and we knew right know. away this was the banker for this us. This is the guy to work boy, with. boy, was yeah. it, yeah. you know. By the way, they're noticing your T-shirt. A little uh, Mexican thing there, Someone's you know. Someone's paying attention. Very right? good, very good. Oh. Uh, how about wearing your whimsy? This is one of your favorite things. It so is. Both of us, frankly. This yeah. Is, yeah. You know, <laughs> Because you, you're so serious yeah. about your yes. wardrobe. Yeah. Um, Very buttoned down. Actually, in Jason's introduction for when he goes on stage and talks about him wearing retro t-shirts, which, by the way, is a really good excuse for him to be wearing one. So you just own It's almost it. like you just say you have to. Right. And then they're like, oh. Okay. Fun socks, fun tie. You know, I, we get a lot of people who are like, oh, but I have to wear a uniform. Well, how about like those little pins, like a little, what do they call those? Enamel pins? Yeah. Well, yeah. Or a button, like the Be Optimistic button that um, Jason's dad, Walt, wears every single day. If you see Walt anywhere, he's going to have it on. Um, so it's just whatever your thing is, right? Yeah. That adds that little playfulness. Earrings, to, there's a way to do that. Women like, have it easy, let's uh, be honest. At the, at the Escape at Hood Summit, uh, Angela was Angela wearing uh, glasses mm -hmm. that were just for special occasions. And they had little rhinestones they up here. They were so rad, Angela. I love them. So. And she said she really, they're not as comfortable as her other glasses, so she only wears them in playful settings where she wants to kind of jazz it up. Yep. And I noticed them. I was like, what are these glasses? These are fabulous, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Mike, uh, Mike says uh, we have a Mike? Harry Potter Lego shelf. And one of the things we, we talked about in the w a Wonder of Whimsy workshop yes. was he and his wife, have a Lafrenda. Uh, La La Lafrenda, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, Lafrenda? Like Lashonda. I was thinking of Napoleon Dynamite all of a sudden. I guess I did. Uh, and uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And I, and I love it because that's another Mexican <laughs> tradition of recalling uh, your past, your family's past, right. and memories and things like that, mm -hmm. which is we finally have a shelf. Now we had a shelf. That we bought for the summit for the stage, the stage that now we're going to use in our house as our own friend us so. which has been on our to-do list mike ever since you and amy shared that with all of us at that wonder workshop we're like we need an friend and we had the perfect spot for it so thank you for that inspiration we can't yeah. wait to fill it up so these uh yeah these socks were one of the uh the pieces that were custom designed for the uh mystery mailing are in those july my legs? they are your legs oh. yes they're <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful legs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, <laughs> and Jason baby. made me stand like that. I never stand like that. He's like, he's like, it looks more natural. I, no, it doesn't. Yes, it it does. looks. Who stands like that? He's like, lift your ankle, and then of course you're like doing it too weird, and it's like this is so unnatural. I'm gonna fall. If over. you saw the picture that you originally had, <laughs> I'm we'd not be a having a whole obviously. different conversation. Uh, anyway, we have one more. We have one more way to integrate playfulness into your life, and that's finding your tribe. Yeah. Now, we have obviously talked about the Wonder and Whimsy Society here, but the Escape Adulthood League, where you can go to is escapeadulthood.me, is completely free. And it's a social network apart from Facebook and uh, all that other noise and negativity. And there's just something about being with people who honor you for who you are um, and your weirdness and your playfulness. And sometimes you need you need a partner in crime. And uh, if you don't have one in your life, that's what the Escape Adulthood League is. That's what the Wonder and Whimsy Society is for. But that is a big way to integrate playfulness, right? Definitely. Everybody needs people in their corner. And that's what I, we always say to people. Like, we're in your corner. We're cheering you on. We're doing this together. Like, that's what this is all about, Charlie Brown. So, um, so yeah, definitely, obviously you don't have to look very far, just go to escapeadulthood.me um, 
And you, that's right there for the taking for yeah. free. And right? uh, or if you're watching this on the replay, come make a point to come live one of these. I mean, we get the comments are yeah. blowing by right here and there's people talking to each other. There's conversations going on that I really kind of want to stop talking to you. And just I know. See I'm like, what's, what's going, going on? on? What's happening? Um, but, so uh, to totally be distracted. But yeah. By the way, Joy Allman, good to see you tonight, Joy. She said that the Edward Jones agents, um, I think she might work for Edward Jones if I'm remembering correctly, um, but they do a good job of wearing fun socks and that little added, mm. especially in a corporate setting, you guys, you don't know how much people love doing business with people they like. And that was something we learned early on, which is obviously kind of easy in our business. But when we're going to an accountant or I paid attention to our accountant socks. I did. And I, they were cool. And I was like, all right, this guy's kind of cool. I kind of like him. You know, so those little things, you don't think they make a difference, but they do. They show your personality and that makes a connection. So there you go. There are five, five easy, easy. ways yeah. to bring playfulness. Name your stuff. Live your own musical, decorate your digs, wear your whimsy, find your tribe. That's a that's a fab five.